hello friends welcome to my channel well my uh, channel's name is python programming with sanju but in this video i'm i'm going to talk about uh, css and html uh, we know that uh, css and html these are the uh, web front and uh, development languages uh, let me set my microphone first okay I hope I am audible now. Uh, okay. So uh, basically, I want to uh, talk about how to uh, create, you know, uh, cover pages for YouTube videos using HTML and CSS. So uh, let me give you some example. Uh, for example, uh, suppose uh, I'm I want to create. Uh, cover page for this video uh, what I will do is I will first of all take a screenshot of my screen like this okay then I will go to my screenshot images and uh, I can see that this is my screenshot okay now in this uh, screenshot uh, let me rename it something like this uh, uh, CSS uh, you know cover pages. cover pages so this is uh, the image which I want to use uh, for my uh, cover page ok let me simply cut it in this much ok now I will uh, decorate this image using HTML and CSS so uh, let us uh, suppose that I want to uh, put some more images uh, uh, I mean I want to put some text uh, within this uh, image ok then what I will do is I have created this uh, program this uh, uh, HTML and CSS program I will say this is a program basically so I have created this with two files one is HTML and one is CSS and, uh, and within uh, within these two files i have written code which i will just explain in a minute or two so let me first show you for example i want to give this image some title uh, css cover page using css suppose this is the title and uh, uh, let me give some it, uh, some other info suppose i want to give some other information uh, may be created by sanju okay sanju okay and uh, maybe some other text here or there here i can write some top uh, top text here maybe uh, tutorial okay and uh, you uh, i want to go write something here also youtube uh, cover design okay and uh, maybe i want to some um, i want to use some images so what i will do is uh, for now let us not uh, take any image so I will simply comment this out this one this one here okay and here I have put a guitar image and uh, let us keep it like this only and let me show you how it looks now so I will open this file using my chrome browser okay so this is my chrome browser and I will refresh it so you can see that uh, here you can see that this is the text which I have written uh, within that uh, file here is tutorial here is YouTube cover design and here is cover page using CSS created by Sanju so I have given formatting to these text using uh, CSS and their position and their uh, orientation everything I have uh, done using that css code okay html and css code 
so what next i will do i will take another screenshot of this this particular page and then i will simply crop it and put it as my uh, this cover image for my youtube video so this is very simple and you can see here this is a guitar image here okay so this is also uh, i can also put some images on my page okay you can put any other image here maybe here there or you can put a number of other images within this okay and you can also see that this is some uh, you know box border here my blurring uh, colors red blood blood color and uh, here also you can see this purple uh, blurred border so everything is possible with this css okay so now uh, i hope you understood what i'm i want to show you in this video uh, let me show you another examples which i have uh, created using this uh, my this file only i mean this program only so this is my guitar channel here and you can see that this is the content and uh, let me show you it in a somewhat bigger scale so that it is more visible so you can see these are the cover pages here okay all these cover pages i have created using this css and html only okay so in this particular cover you can see there is an image text is oriented like this okay so i don't have to use any you know app fancy app for my cover designs so let me show you now how what is the code for it what is the trick for this creating such cover pages okay so this is my html file style underscore images dot html and within this html file you know that you have to uh, link your style sheet within that head you know within those two head tags so link relation style sheet href is style underscore images dot css and what is this this is the name of the this css file okay so don't forget this remember to put it here next within body what i am doing is i am creating a div here okay and for this div i am creating a style uh, and this uh, style tag i am using style tag and use background image and within this background image you have to give the name of your file which you want to uh, convert as your uh, i mean which you want to use as your background image okay so this is the css cover page dot png so this is the file which i just modified okay css cover page dot png i have put it within this folder only so that is why name is straightforward otherwise if you have to copy the copy path okay copy relative path or copy path copy path and then paste it here okay so that is how you give your path and within this div this div is from here to uh, here okay this is my div so you can see this and this so this is my closing tag for this div everything else will be within this div okay this div element okay so first thing i have uh, created within this div is another div and i am giving it a style display of flex okay and this div is here okay these two tags this is starting tag this is end, end tag and within this div i am giving one image that is guitar image okay give it some uh, text uh, i mean give it some style margin left margin top something whatever you want to give okay so this is the guitar image okay so this one this guitar image that is the this element okay then another another div element within this this uh, sorry this div okay this and this so there are three uh, in elements within this div one is image one is this tutorial and another one is youtube cover design okay okay so these three uh, elements and uh, for this text here i am using this transform property transform rotate by 40 degree 
okay so that is why this tutorial was rotated 40 degree like this okay uh, oh sorry this is q property not actually uh, whatever is the last property it will work so if i delete this one then my rotation will work okay so if i save this one and refresh this now so you can see this is rotated by 40 degree okay so you can use whatever property you want to use and uh, i have also used here uh, this uh, box shadow box shadow is minus 10 px and 10 px and 15 px color is red so that is why this shadow of this box is red and this is uh, extending to 15 pixel uh, distance okay so 15 pixel distance it is extending extending okay minus 10 px is in the x direction that means this shadow and another 10 is this one okay so minus 10 is that left one then this is the bottom one and 15 px is the radius okay i mean x this distance up to which this shadow will extend and what is the color that is red okay similarly for this text here this is another div element box shadow is 4 px 4 px and 10 px okay and color is this purple color so that is why this shadow is purple in color and its rotation is you can see its rotation is minus 40 degree okay so uh, that is why it is rotated to the opposite direction this is the, like this and this is like this okay this is anti-clockwise this is clockwise so that is how you rotate your text element and then uh, <coughs> and this another div element here within this element i am using these three these two texts cover page using css and created by sanju and for uh, styling of these two elements i am using this css file here so i have used uh, this text song test singer actually this was my this was for my youtube channel so that's why naming is done like this text song text singer so this is the name of the song this is the name of singer this is the name of the movie and this is for image background i mean this this image bg div this is the main div so a little bit styling for main background is also done here a height you have to give some height to that image that is 500 pixel and uh, so that is how you do the styling for that background image just see it here background size should can it should contain within this div okay and the background repeat no repeat if you keep it like repeat then uh, this image will uh, repeat itself number of times uh, for whatever the dimension of your the screen will be or whatever is height and uh, width you give to this uh, particular div okay so simply keep it no repeat because you don't want to repeat your image but if i repeat it then let me show you what it what it will do so i am putting it repeat so you can see my image just extending to this side and this part is the this part so it is repeating here and if i give it a height more of more than 500 pixel then you will see that it will repeat itself in the vertical direction too so now you can see it is extend it is repeating in the vertical direction also so that is what this repeat will do but i don't need this one so i will simply keep it no repeat okay and now it will not repeat the it is not repeating in the downside but i think it is repeating it in the to the right no no it is not repeating so uh, that is how you do it and then uh, all this styling you can see i have given some text shadow here to my text font size is given font family font weight if you want to keep it bold then it will get bold if you you can give some values also suppose 500 maybe font weight is 500 then let us see what happens you can see this cover page using css it just got thin okay it was actually if i keep it uh, suppose 600 or maybe 700 it will get uh, thicker okay its weight will become thick so 
so you can see it just got thicker so that is how your st styling is done for the text okay and uh, you can all uh, this overline text decoration line this is overline this what it do is this creates this overline here this straight line over the text and shadow of overline is also created okay so text texture in color is, uh, is this blue and uh, <coughs> because you have we have given shadow to this text text shadow of red color this line will also have a shadow in the red color similarly for this text i have given a borderline over borderline and text shadow so that is how you uh, create your this file and if you want to input some images within this uh, I mean within this over this image I have given one image for guitar now another one I can show you how to do it so just to the right of these texts here I am using a image tag that is img source I will give here but uh, I think this image I will not use now maybe i can choose some other image uh, let me let me choose this one uh, image again i mean i can use this image two times right so maybe i can copy related path and control v okay so i am using this image here or let me choose some other image maybe 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 this one okay so let me put it here first so this is a lake and uh, we were boating on the lake so i will put this image here now uh, give it some style mm, you have to give it a width i have given it width of 150 px height of 130 px and there is a border radius so your edges will be round okay and there is some margin from top and margin from left i will increase it a little bit 40 px save work and the box shadow is also there and sh shadow color will be yellow all right and uh, this one will not work second one will work okay so let me refresh it now uh, i think there is some problem with the image here i don't know what happened here let me see maybe i have done some mistake in my coding so shadow is okay Style. okay so i am putting here uh, this another i have to give the ready path of this image but i am giving the ready path of my html file so sukhna.png okay save all and I now let us refresh and you can see this image is here so if you want to move this image to the right or maybe down then you have to give the margin let me show you 100 px margin here and 150 px here so i have increased the margin in horizontal vertical direction so you can see that image will move like this so that is how you put images here okay so uh, after you have done all the formatting just simply take screenshot of this uh, screen and this screenshot is here in my screenshot uh, i mean in my pictures folder so this is my screenshot i will simply again open it, it it in paint and then i will crop whatever i need so suppose i need only this much part so crop it and this is my cover page design so what is the advantage of this uh, of doing all this advantage is that next time when you create your video simply take that picture screenshot put uh, put this image in this folder and copy the image path and simply paste it here and any other picture you want to put simply paste it here change the uh, this text text here here whatever you want to change and your design is already created for you so my design is already ready if i want to if i need to change anything here i will simply change the value a little bit and simply save and run and all of your design will be 
already i mean it will be in front of you okay all the borders are uh, you know this you can see this border is curved like this so all the design is saved you don't have to do all the designing again and again you don't need to write the code again and again all the code is written as per your desire so that is the advantage of uh, doing this so i hope this is helpful to you now i think the video is quite it has gone to a length so i will stop now uh, do comment in the comment box if you need uh, if you need if you have any doubt or if you need any further explanation to any of this uh, concept and i will try to answer to your query so that's all for now thank you take care bye bye